Hello, Jack Brooks here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Aquaman Black Manta Strike, and which includes 235 pieces, 3 minifigures, and retails for $30 in the United States, which is a Walmart exclusive. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. Here is Mira, and at first I was like, this minifigure is awesome, and now I, now I, I watched the movie and I'm like, I take back everything positive I've said about this figure, because the coloring on this is really off. It's this turquoise color, and it's like more of like a green in the movie, so. She does also use, um, Black Widow's face slash Jin Erso's face for some reason that somehow looks like Mira, but okay. Um, also, I do, I mean, I do like the shininess on the torso, though. It looks nice, and she does also have some power blasts. I'm pushing those. It shoots them out pretty easily. And yeah, that's it for the figure though. It's also the King of Atlantis himself, Aquaman, which uses the same hairpiece and face print from the 2017 $20 Aquaman set from Justice League, which she never looks like this in the movie, but you know, Legos lazy. He does have a brand new torso and leg print, which is not that, it's really nice. I do love that shininess and those green legs are pretty awesome. He also does have a One of these shooter things, whatever they're called, and you push on that, and then boom, he does also come with this trident as well, so he can be the king of Atlantis. Here is Black Manta, a kind of a boring, boring figure to put in the set because he was really barely in the movie, honestly. However, he, I do like the helmet mold on here, and you see it just attaches like this. You just put this part over the right there and then you push it in just like that and it looks really cool I do like his torso print and he does also have a sorry a back torso print right there but really that's all that they could do there's not even any leg printing or anything but the helmet mold is pretty cool but I guess that's really it there's also a shark with this little aquatic area thing and design this you literally put the shark onto this piece of stuff right there and this isn't actually my first time getting the newer shark design for some reason I don't know why I don't have it already and I do like that little base plate of the 4x4 piece right there and also those gold pieces make for good coral I think that actually worked out pretty well and yes the instructions do tell you to put the shark on there just like that here's Black Manta's underwater vehicle it's weird because I don't think this was in the movie if it was in the movie tell me in the comments because I honestly don't remember this in the movie but Zionist is pretty cool it's one of my one of the better DC builds in my opinion it does have one of these rapid fire things so I did actually lose one because I pushed these out and then all of them just came out once and I kind of lost them all but you know how these work so you just shoot them out and then shoot them as they as you go and it it's really cool and you can just spin that over and over again this also have a flick, flick fire uh, not flick fire yeah uh, spring load shooter sorry and you push on that it shoots out and now that's gone forever and it also it's just like it's, it's a really cool design and you really like oh face reveal or whatever yeah no you, you ain't gonna ruin that for me but um yeah, it's a really cool thing. You can open this up right there, and then you can put his sword in there just like that. And then also put him in there just like that. And you can shut that, and then boom. He looks pretty menacing in there, I'll be honest, even though you can't even see him. But yeah, it's a really cool build. Also, it has a sticker right there, it has a sticker right there, it has a sticker right there. And it looks pretty sleek. Do you like it? It's just like, I don't think it was in the movie. At least, I mean, even if it was, it was probably in there for like five seconds. But yeah, it's it for build sets. Take a look back in the final box. The box for this is that long $3 box size, and I really do like that design. It's uh, really cool. And then you can see uh, Aquaman right there, and you can see the play features on the back. I'll be honest with you, the set was actually better before the movie came out because. It looked really cool and really sleek. That's why I wanted to get it. But when I looked at the movie, I'm like, what? what? Where was that set in the movie? And I honestly don't remember this being in the movie. If it was in the movie, please tell me, honestly. And the design for the May figures are pretty accurate. And it's just, I mean, just the fact that Black Manta 
was not even the main villain. It was actually uh, Ocean Master, which the design of him actually came in a uh, newer Aquaman set this uh, 2019 season. So that's not really that big of a deal. But they really should have chose him over Black Manta because Black Manta is barely in the movie. However, I do like the inclusion of him because I never got the last set they came in for no reason. And I do like the shark and this whole aquatic area is one of the best parts of the set. And I do, I mean, don't get me wrong, the ship is actually really cool. And the main figures are decent, it's just the fact that Mira isn't really that accurate. Everybody else is pretty darn accurate though. Um, but I still think Mira is a really cool figure. But all I consider how to race one B plus, you still should go buy it for 30 bucks, sometimes less if it's a Target exclusive, not Walmart exclusive. I don't know why I said that in the beginning. But yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.